Hi there everyone, hey, welcome and greetings. This is in effect the July Earth Predictions series, but you might have noticed if you are following this particular prediction series using these, the Psy cards, that I missed the June prediction. I was away on holiday and unable to um, undertake readings, so I wasn't able to get it up on in time online. However, I thought that um, we might just take a retrospective look at the cards that uh, would have turned up for June and see how we interpret them. Certainly a lot has gone on for June. It's been a pretty intense month, especially for the UK. Now today is the 23rd of June, so let's just quickly, before we get to the July reading, see what cards were going to be around for June for the Earth Prediction series. So let's take a look now. The Inquirer, The Home, Prison, The Cave, The Warrior, and The Sun. It would have been the six cards that come out. So if we look at that retrospectively and see what has currently happened in June, I might have expected one of the cards that represents England to come out, which is often the beauty card, and it appears that she hasn't in fact come. The Inquirer and the Home card often remind me of things about New Zealand. And at this point I don't believe New Zealand has had a particularly turbulent time in June and nothing major has happened. So that can represent New Zealand or surrounding areas such as our neighbours, the Pacific Ocean neighbours such as Fiji, Tonga, Vanuatu um, and also Australia. The home card often to me represents buildings, the actual home, your own homes and also fires because we see the fire in the background. So it may have been representative of fires in the home or um, buildings that you live in being affected one way or another. So there's a possibility here that we could uh, tie that in or link that into the the very dreadful fire in London. The Greenfield Tower uh, disaster where so many people lost their lives and were also trapped in that incredibly violent towering inferno. It's actually a fear of mine as being trapped in a high-rise burning building. So I kind of really resonated with the fear that was going on with that energy. We come to the next card and we see the prison card and underneath it there is the sun card and these two often talk about the sun and energies of the sun. Now I have just noticed something under the sun is a hidden card so I'll bring it out and put it there. It's the stars. So they're talking about galactic energy, information to do with our galaxy and space and space exploration, things to do with the sun such as major solar events that create impacts here on earth such as earthquakes, tsunamis, and we did have a tsunami in Greenland here in June, uh, volcanic events, so volcanic unrest, and major storm formation. They also talk about the potential possibility of seeking new things within the realm of the stars, and also that the stars hold the answers. Now I think it was just two days ago Stephen Hawking's pronounced that he believes it's 30 years left on this planet at the way we are going before we are riding close to total destruction and he said that we must move to the outer planets, to moon and to Mars and start harvesting life out there if we need the, or if we want the human population to continue. So we also found a, was it 200 more potentially habit habitable stars in near constellations in June so that was also mentioned. Coming down here to the cave we see someone hiding there's a feeling of being trapped in the month of June we get that with the prison card and with the cave card and in essence they were the two cards that came out after each other so there's a feeling of being trapped of being stuck in something of hiding 
of um, not being able to get out. This can be, could relate back to the Grenfell Tower energy. It could also relate to storms that are coming that people are going through, whether they're landslides or flooding or, you know, hunkering down from big storms. There's that feeling as well with the cave card. The warrior, self-explanatory, it often means feelings of warring energies, fighting, and we get this, we've seen Kim Jong-un with the North Korea's uh, military intimidation that they are ongoing. I think in June alone they have let off seven or eight missiles. They are definitely planning something. Uh, they are definitely planning to extend those missiles further, which is going to create a form of war within the next year at any rate, unless he's taken out and somebody manages to assassinate him. The warrior can also represent the energies of the Middle East or the older parts of the globe, such as Europe, where we have had populations and cities for a very long period of time. It can represent warring factions going on in those places. So you're getting all of that feeling of the Middle East through Europe and even up through the back ends of um, India and China, areas like that that are very ancient human civilization parts of the globe. We also see rushing water down here and the feeling of it coming out and getting into buildings or growing beyond the edge of where water would normally be. So if it was a waterway such as a river, it, ex it expands and goes out onto the ground. It can be symbolic of a tsunami. So we definitely did have the Greenland tsunami in June. We come to the sun, I have sort of described it up here along with the prison card and its intentions are strong solar activity. It can also mean heat waves, we see these very dry crops down here. I think uh, parts of America are under extreme heat waves at the moment so there's also that implication for the card as well. So those would be the cards that would have arrived for June. Uh, we can, you know, you can put your own interpretation or spin into those as well. You know that I love hearing all your comments and how you feel the cards play out and what they particularly mean as well. So let's put those away and deal for July because July is up and coming and we don't know yet what's going on there. So a little bit more shuffling. This is for the energy of July for 2017 using the Psy card divination spreads. So what's in store for us all in July? Okay, the home, the inquirer, the body, the tower, which I might have expected to have come out in June, Fortune and the puzzle. The puzzle doesn't come out very often. It's a unique card that I haven't yet been able to interpret the meaning of. When you look at it side on, it has two doors going behind some very old trees with a strange gatekeeper in front who is holding the keys and a strange uh, symbolism on the ground which I often think of as the maple leaf um, and I think of the maple leaf as Canada and I have just come from Canada myself and had a beautiful holiday there and been fallen in love with the natural beauty and wonders of Canada but let's start back up here again so those two cards returned in pretty much the same order the first and second card so again, we're still talking about the possibility of this being something to do with New Zealand or areas around where I live, so the Southern Hemisphere and the island areas or Australia as our next closest neighbour as well. So it, if it is referring to New Zealand, it could be something to do with quake activity. We do have a lot of ongoing quake issues in New Zealand so we could be in for some more activity in that realm. We come back to the card I mentioned previously about the fact that houses somehow could be affected, there could be fires again. 
God, let's hope we don't go through something like that Grenfell Tower issue again in July. But perhaps it's still really energising July. Perhaps there is still much ongoing discussion, debate and information coming out about the Grenfell Tower burning, uh, towering inferno issue. So maybe they make leeway into that. Maybe it becomes a case where it's taken to court. I believe, reading some of the information that I had seen, that the people who were managing the Grenfell building uh, th through the council system were negligent. So I think there are criminal reasons to take this further and prosecute for manslaughter, if not murder, on the Grenfell case. But anyhow, moving on, we come to the third card, which is the body. The body also symbolises very much the energies of the whole Grenfell Tower issue. So it talks of bodies being damaged and being unrecognisable and we're looking in here at the muscles and not the skin. So that's the body often talks about the outer part of the body being traumatised or um, being damaged and sometimes the body card represents mass events so more than one individual. The other perspective we can look at that a body card is that it's an internal view of the body. So sometimes this represents things like viruses, so possibly new viruses, or information pertaining to relief for diseases or things that affect our body. So autoimmune issues, spray or virus issues, Anything along those lines that body card can represent. But it does often mean a mass event where people are affected and their physical bodies are affected and often their outer skin is affected. We come down to the tower card, which as I say is really what I would have expected to see in June um, regards the tower, the Greenfield Tower building. And that tower card often represents older parts of the globe again, so up through the Europe and the UK area. It does look very much like an old Roman type of tower. It often also projects itself when areas or issues are around Italy in particular. Now the other thing the tower card can represent, I have noticed in the past, are flooding issues, so storms and flooding and water, as well as quake issues. So any of those energies, buildings, tower buildings, through the older part of the globe again, the Europe part or the UK, floodings and earthquakes. The fortune card is another one that doesn't come out often. It's a picture of a man coming up out of a spiral, out of the gloom if you like, and it's, there is a treasure tro trove up here and he's on his way to finding the treasure. So from my perspective of the card and the interpretation of these Psy readings, I tend to find it means the opposite. So he, he is literally stuck a little bit or bound with money. So sometimes when this card comes out we see money issues around the globe. So markets that drop for one reason or another or financial instability around the globe, or dropping money or shares, so share markets or money, hedging funds, anything along those lines could be altered in one way or another. It could mean literally that they are going up, but my tendency or my interpretation is that they would tend to be going down in value somehow. And these could be unexpected downturns. The next card is the puzzle which I talked about a little bit earlier. We really don't know entirely what it means because it's a puzzle and it doesn't give up answers very easily. But I have often found when it has turned up before that it's represented something very unusual occurring, an event or a cycle or some sort of information. A couple of times it has been when we have been... Uh, putting rockets, big rockets into space and they have blown up. There is also sometimes when it is connecting with energies around propaganda 
or political agenda that's hidden and it's like a really weird outcome, something we don't expect or something we don't see coming. Let's put it this way, we've certainly had plenty of that again in the month of June, the UK elections and the topsy-turviness of that. There's all the political agenda going on in America with the Trump sagas that are on and ongoing. There's some sort of weird stuff happening in North Korea with Kim Jong-un. There's the whole Putin issue in Russia. There's the Syrian and the Iranian ongoing sagas of potential war and infl inflammatory energies as well. So with the puzzle it's very much watching how the month goes and seeing how this card could possibly play out. So again any of you who have ideas or speculation about what the card might mean or if you get psychic energies around it let, let us know and put your comments beneath the video. So remember guys this is July's reading. The previous one we did was the essence or the energy of June. I am uploading this towards the latter part of June so the June energy is still valid as well and it might extrapolate itself out and also put forward some more energies as well. Hey so thanks for joining me everyone. Have a safe, happy and prosperous end of June and July. Take care everyone. Namaste.